Welcome on back to Beat the Game. It's time for another edition of Beyond the Precon, and this is the second part of the expansion Rise of the Red Skull, and we have the Spider Woman, Jessica Drew. Alright, so yeah, awesome sauce here. So again, guys, if you like these videos, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, write those comments down. We always appreciate those, and it gives me a reason to keep doing them. All right, here we go. So before further ado, let's talk about Jessica Drew. Now, one of the most unique characters in the game. I think one of my uh, in my top five for sure. Jessica Drew. Uh, she's got three recovers. She's a sealed spy, and she has a hand size of six at eleven hit points. Really good. But she is a double agent, which means. You need to choose two aspects instead of one during deck building. That for me was just like, what? So awesome. But you must include an equal number of cards uh, from those aspects in your deck. So it was it was really interesting to try to find a good balance of what you want to do, what you want to include, uh, and then trying to combine this within, like, between protection and justice or protection and aggression or like justice and leadership. So there's all these cool combinations that you can do with her uh, that are super, super fun. And she has an action that says, look at the top card of any deck limits one per round, which is awesome. Then Spider Woman, as Spider Woman, she's got one, 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 which doesn't seem really good, but this is the best part. She is an Avenger spy with a hand size of five with her super superhuman agility that says interrupt. When you play an aspect card, Spider Woman gets plus one toward attack and defense until the end of the round. Limits once per round for each aspect. So if you play one aspect, if you play a protection card, now she's a two two two. Adjust this card, she's a three three three. Four 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 five five five. So she can go up to five five five. And now some of the fun ways to track these. I used to use these little tokens here, uh, where I would put one of each, and then and then I would remember like, ooh, what aspect I've used and everything. So then I know like, oh, she's a five five this turn. So that for me was super 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 cool. Now let's take a look. Like she's unique because you can't you sh in her kit. She comes with all four aspect cards. So. You can reinforce what you like and you can, you know, mix and choose and which makes it for probably a little bit more complex deck building. But let's take a look at her hero kit and what makes her so unique. Now, one of the first things is she doesn't have a lot of setup, which is great. But I think her best one of her best card is Jessica Drew's apartment. It's an alter ego support card that says uh, exhaust Jessica Drew's apartment and then you search the top five cards of your deck for an aspect card and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So that's super good. So you're always sure to get an aspect card or it's actually an extra resource. So if you get this, this is turn one, you're just like laughing. You'll want to flip up and down. After that, she's got her two resource generators. So the finesse, uh, exhaust finesse to generate a wild resource for an aspect card. Now this is super important. So uh, yeah, there, it, it's a hero resource only, so you can only use them. She's got two of them, so obviously you want to put them down as soon as possible. But they 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 generate a wild resource for an aspect card. So either to pay for an aspect card, or I'm going to give you an example to activate an ability of an aspect card. Let's say Yonborn, if you're playing in aggression, uh, you can use the uh, the finesse to pay for the Yonborn's ability as a physical because it is an aspect card. So that is super fun and that's just a little bit of rules uh, in this. All right, and then she's got uh, three cards that are pretty cool uh, that give her the aerial trait and that is the self-propel glide and that's three. So if you have managed to bring her up to like a 4-4-4 four, 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 or a 5-5-5 five, 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 and then you got a few of these self-propel glides, uh, hero action, ready spider woman, she gains aerial until the end of the round. So that's a, a it's a ready for one which is pretty good. And so I like this card as well. And she has, before we go into what all the other aspect cards she has, let's take a look at one of the most powerful allies in the game, which is Captain Marvel. She's a four cost ally, two toward two attack and Avenger. And after Captain Marvel uses a basic power, draw a card. Now that for me is just money. So having more card draw with a hero that can thwart for two, attack for two. So in my deck building ideas, I actually have a deck which is all about Captain Marvel, which you just want to ready her like five, six times in a turn and just draw, 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 draw. So that is super, super fun. All right, now let's take a look at her aspect card. So she's got two aggression cards called the Venom Blast and that's five damage to an enemy. 
Uh, and that, this is a both a Spider Woman and an Aggression card. So she's got two of everything. So two Aggression cards with the Venom Blast. She's got the cont Contaminant Immunity. So not Containment Immunity, but Contaminant Immunity. And this is a superpower that heals her for three and gives her a tough status card, which is just super awesome. Then we got the Justice card, which is inconspicuous, uh, that says remove a total of three threat from among schemes in play. That's awesome, so you can divide that how you choose. And then finally, her final card is probably the most powerful one, is Pheromones. So for two, you stun and confuse an enemy. So again, so a lot of, kind of like Doctor Strange, she can play with all the aspect cards. Uh, not the aspect cards, but all the uh, status cards. So stun, she has asked us to stun, confuse, and tough, which makes her a very, very powerful and versatile hero. Now let's take a look at what her pre-con comes in and what is the intent of her pre-con. All right, so because she has to have an even number of cards, so there's 11 aggression cards, 11 justice cards, and then the three basics, so 22 plus three is 25. So all three double resources, here's the reprints, two tag teams, two combat trainings, uh, and then we get piercing strike, which is a, a way to remove tough status cards and deal three damage to an enemy. So thank you, armored guards from Claw, but now we have an easy way to get rid of you. Then we have Press the Advantage, which is very good with her, which allows you to deal two damage. And if the enemy is stunned or confused, you actually get to draw another card. So that's pretty cool. You get Spider Girl, who stuns and confuses a minion. Awesome sauce. So some really cool cards. Then you get the reprints of Heroic Intuition and uh, Interrogation Room. And then you get some really more awesome card draw cards. So clear the area is remove two threat and then draw a card if you remove the last threat. Skilled Investigator, which is a zero cost uh, a justice card that says uh, you play under any player's control, which is fun, so you can give those out. And if you defeat a side scheme, you get to draw an extra card. And then you get our friendly neighborhood Spidey Man, who is a two toward two attack, but cost five, and says after you play him from your hand, you remove three threat per player from a side scheme. So that is pretty, pretty solid for uh, a deck. All right, so let's take a look how we upgrade this uh, Aggression Justice deck, and then we'll give you an idea for another uh, combination of deck. So I'll give you an, I'll, I'll kind of give you a variation of my uh, my Captain Marvel Super Ally deck, which is very very fun to play, uh, and then I'll give you the, um, I will just upgrade this precon here right now. All right, so obviously there's a couple of choices I would remove real quick uh, in Aggression. I would definitely remove one of the combat trainings. I as, as good as it is, I don't think you need to. Uh, the other one I would remove, I would probably remove one of those uh, uh, attack teams, and then I would remove a couple of other cards, one piercing strike and one press the advantage. You kinda wanna keep those uh, those events to a minimum with the, uh, with her, because you wanna, again, you, you probably wanna see one of those once in a while, but I don't really see the that you absolutely need them, but it's still good. So in, instead of that, well, there's a couple of classic cards. There's a couple, there's a there's a bunch of expensive cards in here. So especially with your Venom Blast, so I would 100% add the two powers of aggression uh, just to be able to you know do stuff a little bit faster. And then I would put Tigra and I would put Hulk. Uh, the reason why I would put Tigra and Hulk, well, Hulk. The reason why is because I can look at the top card of my deck and see if it's safe to activate Hulk. And if I see a physical resource, well then I'm all in for five damage. Love that. And then for the Justice Spy, well again, uh, two copies of this don't need, two copies of this don't need, so there's another four cards I would remove. So two Skill Investigators, Interrogation Room, and uh, Heroic Intuition, obviously if you're playing solo. If you're not playing solo, uh, those, hero those Skill Investigators are a great, great card to put on other players. And for me, I would add a couple of surveillance teams. Now the reason why is so I can trigger off these, uh, clear the areas easier. So if I'm like, oh, there's four threat. Oh, well, I don't have to waste one of my activations to clear the threat. I can just use one of these snoop counters and do that. 
I also would put one power of justice because that Spider-Man's a little expensive. And then I would also put Daredevil into play. So there you go. So this is what I would add. Adding a couple of allies always uh, can help out in the long run. Uh, and just a couple of more permanents to build off of and, and some extra resources to kind of speed up her, uh, her gameplay. And you should be in for a really, really good time. So those are, this is what I would suggest uh, for uh, Spider-Woman just to really help her out uh, to round out that uh, pre-con deck. Now I'm gonna make a suggestion here. Uh, I'm gonna show you uh, a quick little build in protection and leadership, and then we'll talk about some of the key packs that can enhance her even more. All right, so this is a little version of uh, Captain Marvel's super ally here uh, that we wanna, that you can play uh, just with using the core set and the um, Rise of the Red Skull box. So we got the three double resource and two Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Uh, for our protection cards, we have three med teams to keep Captain Marvel alive and drawing us cards. We do have the Black Widow for some canceled treacheries. We have an armored vest and two indomitables uh, whenever we want to defend. Uh, we also have a couple of counter punches, so when we do defend, we actually get to get ready. So there's, there's a multiple ways to get ready, if, especially if we can increase her stats, or we can get ready Captain Marvel to draw more cards. And we've got one power of protection here. Uh, so these are pretty fun because counter punch, so as soon as you play that, even in the villain phase, you get plus one defense, but not only plus one defense, you also get plus one attack. So if you already did two, uh, two, or, or two or, or of the other colors and you're a 3-3-3, three, 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 well, you can become like a 4-4-4, four, 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 bam, and punch for four for zero. Super, super solid. So I really like that with her. That's a cool interaction here on the villain's turn. And then we have a lead from the front, uh, which is until the end of the phase, but still it's a blue card. So it, this is a boost of two. Uh, we got team training, obviously, to keep our allies a little bit more healthy. Uh, we got Hawkeye and Wonder Bra, uh, Wonder Man. So these are both Avengers that we can trigger. These guys, we don't want to block with them. We're, they're not chump blockers. They're enablers uh, for our other stuff. And Hawkeye can also, if we have extra cards in hand that we don't want, she can pitch him to do some damage. We got an Inspired in the Sky Cycle. Again, cards that have come from the Hawkeye kit uh, that we want to put on Captain Marvel. So then she can attack for three twice maybe three, four times if we're lucky in a turn, draw us four cards, super good. And then we have three get ready, so five, six, seven. So we might have a turn where we can draw seven cards and uh, just keep Ms. Mar uh, Captain Marvel alive with those med teams. And then we have one make the call if ever we get, we have to discard her, uh, at, it's too early or don't have the resources or something else takes priority. Then we also have a way to bring her back. Baby, come back. So that is the deck, guys, in a nutshell, uh, which is uh, a variation of the Draw Your Life deck. Uh, but yeah, so this is a good, just with the Precon and the Rise of the Rex Skull cards. Now let's take a look at some of the, the hero kits that just enhance uh, Spider-Woman's uh, abilities. All right, guys, so if you really want to kip her up a notch, I'm going to go a little bit different for this uh, for Spider-Woman because since she's really awesome in every aspect, I'm just gonna highlight the hero kits, uh, the other hero packs that really, really can make her shine in a specific aspect. So if you really like her in aggression, I would definitely recommend the Hulk hero pack uh, for a few cards. The first one is toe to toe. Uh, because she can get tough, you know, she can just deal five damage for free and then lose a tough and then attack for even more. The drop kick because of her two, uh, uh, finesses it's very easy to get the uh, the extra physical and also you also get martial prowess so that means you can drop kick so a lot of the stun locking strategy here and if you like her uh, as if you like her as well the captain marvel ally well you get an awesome leadership card which is inspiring presence that heals and readies an ally so uh, an upgrade on your um, on your get readies there so this if you like uh, if you like her in aggression, Hulk Hero Pack is the one I would recommend. Now, if you like her, uh, if you want to upgrade her protection kit, well, the best pack I would suggest is the Ms. Marvel pack. Why? Well, it comes with not only, again, focusing on that uh, stun locking kit with tackle, but you also get the energy barriers and you also get the endurance that can increase your health. But not only that, it also comes from some great complementary cards for other aspects 
like the concussive blow, which can confuse her. So now you have you can have like five, six cards in your deck that can stun and confuse. So making it really easy for you to flip. And then if you do decide to go and justice, that's you what you got. Or if you want to do leadership, you also got the morale boost. So for one, she gets plus two, plus two until the end of the round. So that is again a great, great hero pack. Uh, Ms. Marvel because uh, you get a lot of good stuff for all the colors. All right, Justice was a toss-up for me. Uh, it, I wasn't sure. I really like Scarlet Witch. Uh, the, the cards I liked in Scarlet Witch were Turn to Tide. Obviously, three damage uh, for zero. It's really good after you remove all the threat. I really like multitasking. So this was like, mm, okay, I kind of like those. But then I, I'm like, oh, what do I like also? But I also like uh, the Shield uh, because she is shield, all that shield strategy, like the homeland intervention, and then the global logistics, zero card justice cards uh, that she can uh, really take advantage of uh, here, either in hero or in altered ego form if you build for that. So I was, I really like Spider Hand too, uh, Spider uh, Miles Morales for that. But one of the, I think one of the best ones. It, it, it was hard to decide between which three I would recommend. So they all get an honorary mention, but I really like Nebula uh, because of the one ways or another that not only gets you a plus one, plus one, you can go get a side scheme and then you can just clear it and then you can deal damage uh, and then uh, be, uh, increasing your attack. So this increases your thwart and your attack at the same time. I'm like, ah. Oh. It's so good. So that's why I'm like, it's like the, it was very hard to, sp to pick one uh, set of cards. It just depends what kind of action you like to play um, or how you want to you play your Spider Woman deck. There's so many ways to build. There's a tons of great decks. And for leadership, if you really want to build her in leadership, uh, Ant-Man is your man because he gives a lot of great support for, uh, for allies. Uh, so imagine... Captain Marvel now has five health and every time she activates she gets that and plus her hero pack with the plus one plus one and then, so there's so many things that you can build and you can really build up that spider woman uh, Captain Marvel draw your life deck and then also you have like ways to go get Captain Marvel if you include only one with call for aid and then you also have the moxie that again a zero for plus two plus two uh, is really really solid so guys Spider Woman again is one of those complex characters because there's, again, you you only have uh, you can there's so many ways that you can build her. So it's always an interesting puzzle for me. I love this character. Uh, always fun to play. I do have a tendency to go back towards the draw your life deck, but if you want to see something fun, I think I played with uh, we played the Spider Team deck and I was a hundred percent support healing their allies. Uh, we were playing Spider Dr and Spider Ham. And I was playing Spider Woman, and I was just like doing all sorts of little zero cost events to, to pump up my friends' allies. It was, it was really fun and finding different ways to play this character. So, for me, awesome sauce. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this will help you uh, play the game and use Spider Woman to beat the game. Ciao, ciao. Let me know what you think in the comments.